One of the things we need to know about is how to move around in a 3D environment on the computer. Now, I know most of you play games, 3D video games, things like that, so some of it might be a little intuitive, but you still need to know which buttons do what and kind of some of the main things. So there's three main ways we can move around in a 3D environment. One is called panning, where I can grab it and move side to side, up and down like that. One is called zooming, where you're zooming in and out. And the other is called orbiting, where you're moving around. You're orbiting, you're going around it. Um, so you can go up and down like that. All three of those you can do with the mouse. So I highly, highly, highly suggest you use a mouse for this. If you're on a laptop, get a mouse and use the mouse. It doesn't have to be fancy, just as long as it has a left click, a right click, and a scroll wheel right there. Okay. All of those tools are also all right here on the right side of the screen. So this is kind of all your navigation stuff over here on the right side of the screen. Um, this hand right here, and if you're ever not sure what something does in Inventor, if you just put your mouse over it and just let it sit there, it will tell you what it does. So panning, that hand is panning, moves it left and right, up and down like that. That is also just the regular left click on the mouse. So if I just click and hold, oh, I'm sorry, it's not the left click, it is the scroll wheel. If I click the scroll wheel like a button and hold it down, I can pan. So panning, the scroll wheel, click it like a button and hold it down and move it around. All right. The next one is zoom. Zoom in and out. Use the scroll wheel. Zoom in and out. Pretty straightforward. You can also use this thing right here. One nice thing about this button right here, it says zoom all. If it has zoom all, what it does is it takes whatever is on you're working with and makes that uh, the focus of whatever the screen is. So if I click that, it'll just take my whole project, fit it nicely on the screen. Nice thing about that is like if you get lost, like if I zoom way out and I move it like way over here and I have no idea where my work is, you can spend hours trying to find it. But if I just click that zoom all, what it's gonna do is it's gonna zoop, bring all my stuff right there. Orbit tool, the free orbit. So again, this one right here, you can click that button and I can use my mouse to move it around. The shortcut for that with the mouse though, hold shift on your keyboard and click and drag the scroll wheel. So if I hold down shift on my keyboard and click and drag the scroll wheel, I can orbit. So between panning, orbiting, and zooming, you can move all around here. So let's say I want to go in there. You'll also notice this little cube up here in the top right corner. This is kind of what I call the view cube. Um, right now I'm looking at the front side of it. You can click on these little highlighted portions of this cube. So if I click the front, I'm looking at the front. If I click these little arrows, I can rotate to the right side, the back side, left side, front side, bottom side, and top side. What I can also do is click on the edges of this thing so I can look at it at an angle. You can also, if I'm looking at it like this, you see this little left curved arrow and right curved arrow that will let me rotate whatever I'm doing right there. So those might be helpful if you get lost, if you need to position something, trying to look at something. You've always got this little view cube right here and you've got these camera buttons which are also with the mouse. Next thing we need to know how to do is to save our work. You'll notice this house is different than my last house because the, my computer did something and it did not save my work. Inventor will not save automatically for you. It might do some things behind the scenes, but don't get in the habit of let the computer do the work for you. Get in the habit of saving your work. You know, there used to be a saying called save early, save often. Make sure you're saving your work. When you start getting going, give it a name, give it a good name that you know what it is, and save it in a location where you know where it is. You know, if you just say, hey, I saved it, I'm going to come up to you and say, hey, where did you save it to? Did you save it to your Google Drive? Did you save it to your documents? 
make sure you know. So let's save this house right here to our Google Drive. Um, Google Drive's nice because, you know, it's not in, uh, dependent on the computer. You can open it up anywhere. All right. Um, right now, I do not have my Google Drive open on my computer. So if you're on these school computers, I'm going to hit that. I'm going to go to just click on Google Drive. That should open up my Google Drive for me. I'm going to let that log in. All right. So that should be logged in. Uh, now let's save this. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Save As. Save versus Save As. The first time you do it, click on Save As. That lets you give it a name. Every time after that, you can click Save. The difference is Save As, you can give it a name. Save just saves it to whatever you already named it. So the first time, do Save As. Where do we want to save it? Don't just hit save wherever it is. Find where you want to save it. Let's save it to our Google Drive. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to, if you don't have Google Drive right there, you might have this PC. Go down to your Google Drive. Remember you have My Drive and Shared Drive. Go to My Drive. Go to your engineering folder, which you should have made already. And give it a name that makes sense. This is a house. I'm going to call it House Demo and I'm going to hit save. All right, cancel. All right, so file, save as, Google Drive. I called mine house demo, hit save, good. All right, so that's saved. Now, if something were to happen, if I come back a later time, I'm gonna say it's the end of the period. If I hit exit, I'm gonna exit inventor. Uh, next time I open it, I'm going to hit open up Inventor again. All right. And you might have something like this that says that has your recent files. So because I just saved this already, now I have it right here in my recent files. Most of what you will be doing, you can find it really easily. Click it right there. If it does not show up there, do not freak out because you saved it. It just might not be there. If you go to a different computer, it might not show up there. So if I need to, I can just go to open, find my .ipt or whatever file you're looking for, click open, and that should bring you up to where you were. All right, so let's get going and make our block here.